started with a guy named Fred. And the whole thing started with a guy named Fred. You know, it was down at the, the, uh, the river. You know, and, you know, it was, it was Commodore. And I was having a smoke, funnily enough, which I'm doing. And drinking a bit of beer. And he uh, looked down at the, the ashes of the fire, which had just, just sort of, you know, finished. But it, was, it was early in the morning, the following day after the party. And, uh, looked at the ashes and said, yeah, it's life, I suppose we had a good time. Uh, Sheila is uh, his woman. They weren't married, she was his girlfriend. She, she'd hung around and she was in the sleeping bag in front of the car. Verb was having a smoke and having an early morning drink. Just one for the morning. He didn't really drink in the mornings very much. He was still sort of conventional somewhat. I normally wouldn't drink until about midday, but it was having one this morning because it was it was a big celebration the night before. The, the gang was a big celebration. They would won a competition in the uh, indoor cricket at the local club, so it had a bit of a celebration. And um, uh, it's forty ever because they, they won. They won the competition that year, the uh, the B grade competition. So for that ever they'd have a celebration. Forty ever morning being celebrated because it scored. Uh, 42 runs, which was his high school for the season, and did well. Man of the match as well, because got a few wickets. And, uh, kicked Sheila on her, on her heel, said, get up, bitch. And she got up, said, I've got an idea. So they, uh, they gathered some of the ashes, which was still a bit warm, but cooled down. And they um, put them in a plastic bag, one of those sort of plastic bags you get from Woolworths and stuff. And they drove to Jono's place down in Langdon. Because they, they were at the uh, Murrumbidgee in uh, Tuggle. And they drove down to Jono's place in Langdon. And he had the ashes. And he came, John was home, because it was, it was uh, Saturday, because they played on Friday night. And uh, he, was, he was a little bit worse for wear, because his, his, his missus had driven him home. He was wasted. And, uh, uh, it was just bullshit to John for a while, it was, was Fred. And uh, he excused himself to go to the toilet, which Fred, uh, John didn't mind. And in the hallway, he, he nicked. Well, didn't really nick, he just pulled down one of the urns which they'd had from the past season. And he put some of the ashes in it. Jono had been curious about what was in the bag, but Fred didn't say anything. He put some of the ashes in it. And, uh... He presented it to... Uh, came back and... After he'd gone to the toilet, he was, so he'd flushed the toilet so he wouldn't be saying anything. The ashes, he said. I burned... Stumps. I stole them and I burnt them. And, uh, John has said bullshit. They're last night's fire. <laughs> Fred said, yeah, I'll it. And, uh, Sheila said, let's do the same thing to Dick. Dick was across town in, in uh, Gilmore, and we drove up to Dick, and they said, the ashes, we got the stumps and we burned them. Dick fell for it. Because <laughs> it was Dick. <laughs> and they started doing this to all the blokes on the team. They confessed when they started parading themselves around the traps of all their mates and stuff. The ashes! Anyway, the Indoor Cricket Club in Canberra got wind of this. And, uh, they sued them for stealing their stumps. They know, knew they hadn't stolen them, but they claimed that they'd been stolen. Fred said, we're guilty, Your Honour. And he got community service. The end of the action.